I'm seriously concerned that the pastors of America have forgotten that they're not just called to a church, they're called to a community. And Ronald Reagan once said that if we ever forget that we're a nation under God, we will be a nation gone under. And I fear that we're headed in that direction. Uh, I, uh, Jesus himself said, you don't light a lamp and then put it under a basket. You put it on a lampstand for everybody to see the light. And I fear that the church buildings themselves have become the baskets under which we have hidden the light. And George Whitfield understood that. He was. What did he do? He was not preaching in churches. He was out there in the open. He, in fact, like he had pretty large congregations. Is that not true? Oh, George Whitfield preached to 10,000 people without any microphone or electronic enhancement. Now that's commitment. And let me tell you, if the churches were to get outside the church walls, they would find people starving for truth. You know, I, I have a service at Sunsplash Park in Daytona every Saturday, Sunday morning, watching the sun come up, God's beauty of creation, and people come to hear God's word. And they are often homeless. A lot of them come from a group home across the street. People who would never set foot in a regular Christian church because they feel like they wouldn't be welcome. But those are exactly the people that Christ told us to go to. He said, go and make disciples. He didn't say, sit on your rear end inside a building and wait for people to come to you. So what America needs more than anything these days is to see Christians with the courage to step outside the church walls. And the church is a keep us too confined so that we don't, we don't feel safe doing that outside of the doors of the church. Well, the church has lost its ability to confront evil in our society, and we're seeing the results of that all through America. Uh, we are told to contend for the faith. You know, a contender is a fighter. You know, the Bible says contend for the faith. But we have just let the enemies of God push us around and we have timidly retreated behind church walls where the children of America are no longer hearing the moral message of Jesus Christ. And they're doing it in the side of the church is using political correctness. And that must fall. This is no time to be a silent Christian. That's exactly right. A silent Christian is a defeated Christian. It's time for us to get out there and do what we're supposed to do. George Redfield, we're going to be raising you some pastors to follow you. That's right.